We're searching for landmines. Suddenly, they're all around us. We're in the middle of a minefield. Soldiers begin sweeping the ground with detectors. When the machine beeps, they know they've found one. The spot is marked with a red triangle. Then, slowly and gently, they brush away the soil and leaves to expose the bomb. This mine is big enough to kill. Carefully and methodically, the firing pin is unscrewed and the mine is made safe. There are mines everywhere here. Some have already been uncovered, but are still live and dangerous. Many, many more we're finding as we go along. Thailand, like most countries today, has banned the use of landmines. But these weapons have been in the ground for 40 years, abandoned after long ago battles, and they're still deadly. When enough have been recovered, they're blown up with modern day explosives. They let me fire the charge. Fire in the hole! An NCO is leading today's operation at a place called Buntarik on the Thai-Laos border. He's been in bomb disposal for nine years. In that time, he's made safe 10,000 landmines. He says training overcomes the fear. These bombs were planted to kill and maim enemy soldiers in war, but today it's civilians who suffer. We Boonrat stepped on a mine while cutting bamboo in a forest near her home on the Thai-Cambodian border. Her left foot was blown off. She shouted to others to keep away so they wouldn't set off more mines. Then, in agony, she crawled to them. In a minefield, there's nowhere to hide. Unseen and unheard, the mines wait for the unwary or the unlucky. If a mine is triggered, there's a click, followed by the roar of an explosion. The result in almost every case is death or disfigurement. It's the reason why landmines are amongst the most feared and most hated of all weapons. Thailand is encircled by landmines. Millions were planted on its borders with its neighbors, Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, and Malaysia. They sit just a few centimeters below the surface, forgotten from long ago conflicts with neighboring states and warring rebels. Clearing jungles, forests, and tracks of this deadly menace is the job of the Thailand Mine Action Center, or TMAC, a specialist unit of the Thai Armed Forces. TMAC says 500 square kilometers of the country remains uninhabitable, contaminated by unexploded mines. In the years since the fighting ended, as many as 4,000 Thais have been killed or injured by landmines, 19 from April 2017 to the following year. In the wartime, when the soldier, one soldier steps on landmine, they may lose their limbs, their arm, or even dead. This will cause delay for the unit, cause demoral of the unit as a, as a whole. But now today, when the people step on the mine, they, they, they injure not only the people, but all his, of his family will suffer as too, especially if that people are the leader of the family. 
Wounded civilians are common at hotspots like this, Aranya Pratet, on the Thai-Cambodian border. This region was one of the most heavily mined on the planet. Each of these men has lost part of a leg. In every case, they were carrying out ordinary, everyday tasks when disaster struck. They say even worse than the horror of being blown up was that afterwards they couldn't work or take care of their families. They've just told me something that's really quite sad. They say that after being injured, they were often shunned or ignored by their neighbors. Now, that's because in villages where everyone is poor, people stay away from the disabled because they're worried they'll be asked to supply help or money, which they can't afford. We Boonrat says many landmine victims talk of ending their lives. It's not just people paying the price for landmines. Animals too suffer terrible injuries. Severe wounds are inflicted on elephants roaming Thailand's border forests. Most of them, the whole leg was blown off and it's just like, you know, shredded. And imagine that even though they have enormous size, but the pain is much great. If it were a human being, you could die on the spot. But uh, for elephants, you know, the pains are so great that they can, it's almost a miracle that they can in endure the pain until they arrive here. The Friends of the Asian Elephant Hospital in Thailand's Lampang province is the first in the world to fit prosthetic limbs to elephants. At the beginning, the prosthetics were basic, but as the hospital gained expertise, the limbs became stronger and more comfortable for the animals to wear. Before, an elephant which lost a leg would almost certainly die, because the animal's unevenly distributed weight would twist its spine. Now it's hoped some can be saved and learn to walk short distances on their artificial limbs. Sometimes that's something not even injured humans can do. Tala's leg was severed at the thigh in an explosion on a track she'd walked a hundred times before. She still has to use crutches because wearing a prosthetic limb is too painful. At this free workshop in Nam Yuan, a border area where casualties are amongst the highest, they fitted prosthetic limbs to more than 300 people from surrounding villages. Two of the staff are also landmine victims. <laughs> Clearing mines is dangerous work, but before they can be removed, they have to be found. Some mines were laid without records being kept, and when there are records, they've often been lost in the fog of war. And when the monsoon rains come, the ground turns to mud, and the mines can move and shift position. CMAC had its own tragedy. Four of its D-miners were killed in a single blast while trying to defuse a landmine at Sakel, a short distance from here. Soon afterwards, another D-miner was killed. The losses have been kept secret for four years, now being revealed for the first time. We have uh, five people, five victims, all of them other people are the deminer. Both of them are, are my, my people who do the job along the border. 
no matter how good the training or how much experience they gain. There's no doubting the measure of risk involved in setting out to rid Thailand of its landmine legacy. And there are so many mines in the ground, there's simply no end in sight to the dangers they pose. But the team leader has a simple philosophy. พวกเรามีคําพูดคํานึงที่ว่าถ้าเราเก็บกู้ทุนระเบิดได้หนึ่งลูกก็เท่ากับเราช่วยประชาชนหรือชาวบ้านได้หนึ่งครอบครัวคร